my name is Brenda Miller Holmes, and I'm the director of the Durham Civil Rights History Mural Project. Um, what we did was we gathered 30 community members over a year ago to tell Durham's story of the civil rights movement and explain some of the history and just give exposure to the people who are out fighting for civil rights. Um, so it was mostly learning about the history and realizing, wow, this is just really significant, really important. Every the way things played out in Durham is, um, I just keep using the word phenomenal, to me it was just amazing to learn the history and so I felt like, wow, some of these stories as time goes on, the, the names will be forgotten and um, I just really don't want to see that happen. Yeah, so some of what's going on, these are um, some of the original students who integrated the schools. I felt like their stories were really important because they made tremendous sacrifice. Um, were confronted with continuous violence and lack of support um, in the schools when they did this. So it was a tremendous sacrifice for them personally and for their families. So I felt like it was important for people to see them and for their names to be spoken. It's just a really interesting project. I'm learning so much that I never knew before about uh, various people um, as I'm painting them and as we do various lectures and research. And it's just been a really, really insightful project. Well, I think public art in general is important, but there are many facets of the Durham civil rights history that are um, lost to those, to the general public and really only known by those who really, really know their Durham history, like, like the Royal Ice Cream Parlor um, sit-ins, you know. Most people don't realize that predates Greensboro. So to be able to share that information with the broader community, and I think I think murals um, are just a terrific way uh, to communicate history.